Hello my fans of medical malpractice, and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. In the last episode, we went ahead and completed Hogsport. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to Lower Bullocks and see what challenges there are there. Staff Qualifications Welcome to Lower Bullocks. It's a lovely little village with a big problem. A significant proportion of the population believe themselves to be rock stars. There's only one thing that can cure this, psychiatry. Only doctors with a psychiatry qualification will be able to diagnose and treat people in a psychiatry room. We've managed to find one, but you should keep your eyes peeled for job applicants with psychiatry and other useful qualifications. Alright. So the psychi psychiatry room is unlocked. I'm gonna redo this building, I think. And this episode, we do have other plots of land here, too. So, we're gonna redo this whole area before we really start. Let's see what we have as far as staff. We have three doctors right now, or three people overall. One doctor, one assistant, one janitor. So the doctor does have psychiatry. Assistant looks decent. And the janitor has ghost capture, so those are all important things. Start with the doctor. We have another one here with psychiatry. So we're gonna go ahead and hire that person as well. That way we have what we need over here to start with. All right. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this room overall. Sell that. Sell that as well. Get all this stuff sold. Won't sell the plant because we will use the plant. For now, we're selling that too. Alright. So, let's start out the right way. Let's put in a GP's office. We're gonna need that for sure. Plant into the GP's office, put it over here probably. That right there. A couple of windows on the front. We'll put the office desk like so. Gotta have a filing cabinet in the office. Then we're gonna have a medicine cabinet in here as well. We'll give him a pin. That over there. Actually, no, I, I don't want. Ah, don't want that bin. I want a recycling bin instead. Environment first. All right, we got our plant in already. Not sure we're gonna do the dogs in this hospital. We'll see. Still. Want to get everything else that I want in the room in here first. That includes getting a bookcase. And maybe a trophy case. I'm not sure about the trophy case. But I do want a bookcase. Because I don't want my doctor to be bored. Alright. This will increase training speed. We don't have a training room yet, so we're not going to worry about that yet. Diagnosis power, interesting. So I will want that for the diagnosis room. We'll get that. All right, so we got all kinds of things for animals to be in. We'll get those later. This arm bot is intriguing to me, so I do want to get one of those at a point. Alright, I'm not seeing anything else here, though, that's really necessary for this room. So, since there's not other things that are necessary for the room, we will go with our dog. And... Alright, ducks over the dog. Go ahead and make that room. Put a couple 
benches out here. Actually, gonna move this plant, and this fire extinguisher doesn't even need to be there. And we're gonna put some salt, um, some snack machines along these walls. Put a couple of bins out here as well, just to make sure that people aren't being too messy. Ooh, do want a news agent as well. For right now, we'll do this number. Have it right there. Also means we're gonna need another assistant. We'll put you. Ooh. Ooh. Right, you're gonna work there. Uh, pick up. There we go. Oh, it's not letting me pick up or stuff. All right. Uh, let's see. What else? The arcades were not really used last time, so I'm not going to put them out there yet. Do want another plant, though. wonder then if I can move these and still have the overall... Uh, that I bet I can put those right there and I'll take care of this area overall perfect all right let's go ahead and copy this room over the years uh, we don't need it yet so I don't want to spend the money on it just yet I will put in another one of those here in a bit but not yet we are going to need a psychiatry room though, so I'll put that right here. Alright. I'm going to put the armchair in the corner at an angle. And the couch sort of facing this direction. Put a medicine cabinet in here because, you know, when somebody's going a little bit uh, crazy there, you might need to give them some medication just to soothe them a little bit. Settle them down some. Put a nice plant in the corner there. Certificate on the wall to show that this person knows what they're doing. Oh. Put a clock over here. Do want to put a few windows in. And maybe the person has a paranoia about they're being watched. Now that paranoia can be confirmed. A fireplace. Would be nice. I don't really want to waste kudosh on it right now. Ooh. That would be good though. Those bookcases would be very nice to get. So I do you want to save up for those? Let's see. What other things? This particular room, I'm looking for a poster, I believe it is. Yeah, I want the uh, horseback poster. That way the patient can say what they're seeing. I see a clown right there. Maybe that says something about me? I don't know. Alright. And we'll put our dog and birds over in this corner. There we go. We are gonna definitely need a pharmacy as well. I think I'll put the pharmacy over here. Need a fire extinguisher in this room because that machine could burst into flames at any moment. Put some windows in here. Uh, let's see. Put a charity dog in. Certificate that this person knows what they're doing. Clock over by the door. Or now we'll just put the clock over here this time. And flying ducks over our dog. 
move the dog over a little bit. Definitely have to have a plant. There. We'll need a nurse for that room. Alright. So I'm going to get the really good nurse to start with here. That way they can go into a bunch of the different rooms when we need them to. Alright. So let's go ahead and start then. We have been contacted by Bungle Technologies, who run various research hospitals across the country. They have an interesting proposition for us. Their psychiatry license has recently was recently revoked due to an incident with... Well, it's best not to get into it. They want to send us psychiatry patients, and in exchange will allow us to buy some of their latest technology. Until our organization acquires a research license, we need all the technology we can get our hands on. Alright. All right, we need to get the hospital to a level three. This, I think, is gonna be four squares there. I wanna verify that. Yeah, it's gonna be four squares. So I don't wanna waste that on that room. I could build a ward over here, that'd work. Go ahead and build the ward. I like that, I think. Put the nurse's station right here. Alright, I'm gonna put another screen in here. Get some more beds going on. Oops. Illness. No, I don't want to stop visiting the room, though. Alright. Got all that put in. Let's see. Where can I fit a locker? Don't really need a locker. And I have a lot of other things that I want to squeeze into this room, so... Alright. Need a medicine cabinet. There we go. Definitely need a plant. If I put a plant right in the middle of the room, will that help everyone? I'd really like for it to do. We'll have to see. We'll put a clock on the door over, or a clock over by the door, right by her station. Don't know if I'm going to fit my dog in this time. Let's see here. Yeah, I should be able to. Can I fit a locker over in that corner? Oh. oh, but I could there. Alright. I do want to see how the uh, plants are working here. Could use their plant there. And if that's the case, perhaps I can move this one. I know. Go ahead and get rid of that for right now. Does that work? Not really, it was actually better over here. Alright. Yeah, now the plant's covering pretty much. Get a locker. Oh, I have to be in this room to get the locker. Items, locker, we'll put it over there, there we go. We're gonna need another nurse to deal with this as well. Actually, let's go ahead and get the nurse to deal with pharmacy here. We'll get him to deal with the ward, I think. 
Yes, he had a ward qualification, didn't he? Yeah, he did. All right. Then if I need another nurse to be in there, you know, I'll hire one more nurse. This person's good at treatment. They'll be fine. Ooh. No, I'm not trying to click on anything. I just want the room. Let's add an additional staff to that room. All right. Mockstar. Patients believe themselves to be one of the greatest rock stars in the world has ever seen, but are sadly gaga. We'll send the patient for treatment in our psychiatry. Okay, sounds good. Cure a patient in psychiatry. Alright, let's put a few more benches out. I think what I want to do is I want to do this where I have the... That there... I don't really like the plants in the middle of the room. Alright. Then I'm gonna need to... We'll put that plant right there. Bungle Technologies has given us access to their latest technology, a pharmacy drug mixer upgrade and a general diagnosis easy scan machine upgrade. We buy these for our machines, they will become more powerful, helping us diagnose and cure patients. The upgraded machine will need a janitor with a mechanics qualification. Select the machine and choose the upgrade option. Qualified janitor will then upgrade the machine over time. Sure. Alright, so we can definitely do that. We have to upgrade a machine. Let's upgrade that one. I believe our janitor does have the upgrade ability. Yeah, he can upgrade. We do need a janitor though who can repair as well. So we'll get him. There we go. All right, so everything's going pretty smoothly there. New disease, this verbal diarrhea. This, the disease people can't stop talking about. Verbal diarrhea spreads fast and can be heard for miles. We'll send the patient to treatment in our pharmacy. All right, well, they're gonna have to wait at our pharmacy a little bit because I'm having the machine upgraded. Pharmacy, calling nurse. So, give them a few minutes, they'll upgrade that machine, then you can get your treatment. Got some plants around, so that's good for people. Put a bookcase over there. And one there, just so people can stay, have something to keep their interest. I have only one word to say to you today. Trousers, people. Trousers. They ought to be worn at all times. They protect against sunburn and knobbly knee syndrome. Take heed, dear listeners. Okay, so the word of the day is trousers. Good to know, I guess. Interesting word of the day. Not sure why it's the word of the day, but I'll go with it. Alright, I do need to put in a toilet and a staff room here. I think I'll put the staff room in here. Make it a nice big staff room. Put in a couple windows up here. Let's see what all we can put in here. Put some machines along this wall for them. Drinks machine, snacks machine, and a salty snacks machine. They got a little bit of everything. We'll put the elephant pin in here so it's nice and decorative for them. We're gonna put a plant up in that corner. What? We're not gonna put a sofa there. Change my mind on that. What we're gonna do instead, we're gonna put an armchair in this corner. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a plant in between the two there, so that way that's all nice. Put a bookcase over on this wall. Put a charity dog along this wall here. So they can see the good charity that this hospital is doing. Got that there for him. 
Got a clock on the wall. Ooh, a dartboard wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Television. Yeah, I don't really want to spend money on all these things right now, though. Oh, but a putting green is sort of a nice idea. Nah, I just don't want to spend the money on it right now. Alright. We got that room taken care of for him. I think I'll put the toilets over here. Well, this is four spaces, actually. I want to leave that as four spaces. I think I'll put the toilets this direction. Yeah, it's gonna be a big toilet. Actually, we don't need that big of a toilet. Just not necessary. A bit excessive. Part of the problem is that window right there. Is there anywhere where there's not a window? Really over here would be the whole thing. I guess I'll take up that room and put in a decent sized toilet room. They should be happy with the toilets. Alright. Got that in there. A couple of sinks thrown in. Some hand dryers on these walls. Plant in by the door. Actually, move these a little bit closer there so that they're like you turn around from using the sink and right to the use the hand dryer. Put a charity dog over here. Guess why not? We've got this whole room here, might as well use some of the space. I really sort of want to put in a water closet just because it's old fashioned and awesome looking. Alright, don't need anything else in this room, I don't think. What item was invalid? I don't even know what item was invalid. Oh, the plant that was outside here. That was the item that was invalid. Alright, we definitely need to put that plant back. like we need another plant here actually too. Now uh, what I can do... Alright, so I'm gonna take this plant, move it over here, then we'll take the charity dog, not the cubicle, charity dog, move it up there, I don't have room for my birds then. That's very sad. Alright. Charity dog and birds have become like the unofficial mascot of my buildings. Alright, that plant over there seems to have taken care of that room overall, so that's good. Alright, so I think we're good right now. I'm just curious. I could put this right in the middle here. Nah. Don't need to. Alright, he's upgrading that machine, so that's going well. He's hitting it there with a stick. Guess that's how that works. Don't know, I'm not a trained mechanic. there in order to have a bit more coverage. Alright. New illness. Lazy bones. Alright. Skeletal fatigue caused by lack of calcium in the diet. Upon diagnosis, the patient will be immediately rushed to a ward where they must sleep for several days while being fed milk and cookies by a nurse. Sounds like a good time. Alright. Well, good for them. Hope they enjoy. Proceed with 
caution. That is good advice. We should always proceed with caution. Alright, this person's getting a little bit upset there. I mean, they got verbal diarrhea, so I can't imagine they'd be too good a mood to begin with. Just notice that this is away from the wall. Alright, we got that put against the wall. Great, the machine upgrade is complete. Make sure we've got a fire extinguisher dot around to keep our pressure machine safe. Uncle Technologies are grateful for our continued support with their psychiatry patients and given us access to one of their machines, the extract the pan this high-tech gadget is great for removal of unwanted kitchen utensils. Look out for people in need of this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock some more technology. Buying another plot of land nearby will give us more space to develop the hospital. Alright. I think I'll buy this plot of land while I've got the money. I, mean, I could go over here for cheaper. Yeah, let's go ahead and go this ahead. Ricky uh, we'll just demolish that kids' playground. This is Ricky we don't need Hawthorne, it. bringing talk, music, and news to the whole of Two Point County. And if you're listening to us from the newly opened hospital, just turn up that volume because nothing drowns out the sound of sick people like the voice of a world-class DJ. Coming up next, that is 42 true. hours of music from the background band. Enjoy. All right, so we've got our extract a pan in. Put some windows in that room. Put a fire extinguisher in this room, definitely. We'll need that. Get some plants in this room, because plants are always a good thing. Get our charity dog set up here. So that way people know it is our hospital. Get a certificate on the wall there, so that way we've got a something to show that we're legitimate as a hospital and that the person knows what they're doing with the extract pan. All right. Between treatments, why not buy something? This is true. People should buy things from my facility. All right. Let's get a bench set up outside here. We'll need some plants probably. Yeah. Definitely need some plants here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and put the plant up there. There we go. This plant I need to move actually a little bit because I'm gonna put the other room that I have here. Uh, I got general diagnosis or the deluxe clinic. I'll probably put the, uh, the Lux Clinic there. That's a 3x3, three three, so is this one. Uh, you know I can afford this one for right now, so I'll just go ahead and put it in. Then I'll put the other one over in this building when I get that building opened up. I will put this stuff along this wall, I think. That stuff going on in there. Put a medicine cabinet along Where is that your wall. Doctor? Why could average height answers to doctor? We need a doctor somewhere. Alright, well hopefully they will find that doctor. Put a fire extinguisher in there. Definitely need a plant in here. Oh, this is that room that we can use the radiation box in, so let's go ahead and put that in as well. And we'll put a certificate on the wall over here. And a clock. Uh, right there. Ooh, do we not have room for our dog and ducks? No, we still have room. I've been humming that tune to myself all week, which is uncanny because I've never heard it before. Or oh, have I? Oh, well, more all right. catchy music coming right up. There we go. That room's taken care of. New illness. Pandemic discovered. Involuntary attachment to kitchen utensils caused by extremely low levels of culinary skill. The pan must be carefully removed with a massive magnet. We'll send the patient to in a, for treatment in our pan's lab. All right. I guess that works. 
We're gonna need to hire some more people here. We'll get another doctor on the go. Ooh, actually, I wanna go ahead and get one of these for over here. And then I want to get this person who for right now we'll go ahead and put over here. All right, so we got somebody in the pan's lab. <laughs> All right then. Well, we cured them. I guess that worked out well. Staff challenge. Cure 10 patients. Sure, we'll accept that challenge. New illness, bog warts, a rather disgusting skin condition caused by filthy toilets. It can be cured with expensive cocktail of drugs carefully prepared in the pharmacy or with witchcraft. Yeah, we've had that one before. Now that I see how this machine works, I'm gonna put it in that way. That way the doctor's over on this side of the room. All right, he's tired, he should, uh, Go ahead and take his break in the staff room. We got a staff room set up. I am going to need some more general diagnosis areas as well here, probably. Yeah. So that'll be the first thing I probably put over here is another GP room. Always am doing that. I always forget I can just copy the whole room. Yep. Let's go ahead and copy. Oh, it doesn't fit there exactly. It does fit nicely there, though. All right. Patients are responsible for their own amusement. We'll go ahead and put a chair there, and we'll put a bookcase here as well, so that way, if people are getting bored, they've got that. And we'll put snack machine over here and a drink machine we'll put the bin for them over there and finally a nice plant oh I can't put a plant right there fine put a plant there right there I need more than one plant in this room. Sort of looks like I do. I want it to be a nice, happy room. From the makers of Never Blink there comes Pulpitation. The energy drink made with the discarded pulps of oranges and just a drop of rocket fuel. Pulpitation, because sleep is for the weak. Portish head. Portish head affects both body and mind. This is Once thought radio. to be caused by proximity to sea air, it's now known to be chiefly caused by living in Portish Head. Send a patient to treatment in our ward. Sort of curious what this person looks like. Not exactly sure. All right. So we've got all of our rooms here other than the deluxe clinic. We still need a deluxe clinic. Need a little bit of money before we get a deluxe clinic, though. Nurse to general diagnosis. All right, we need another nurse. We have this person that works well in the ward here. I want to make sure these are the two that, uh, Hospital is in debt. Well, that'll happen sometimes, but we'll be fine. All right, this is not the guy I want here. Ooh. Rather have him in general diagnosis. I think. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you work well in general diagnosis. I'm gonna leave these people alone for right now because they seem to be doing pretty well. All right, we need a deluxe clinic here pretty badly. All right, let's get the patient to wait. Foremost, health safety inspectors informed us that they will be visiting our inspection 
for inspection soon. All right, so we need that. Let's go ahead and pause. All right, we're gonna have lightheadedness as a thing as well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take out a loan. Yes. So that we can afford, yes, I know these things. All right, we're gonna afford the deluxe clinic. this room or did I just build all these rooms one too big I probably did oh well yeah I'm gonna move that room and edit it here in a few moments but for right now let's get the deluxe clinic set up all right so we've got that in Put the windows in. We'll need a fire extinguisher in here without a question. Put a plant in the corner as well. Get our charity dog on the go here. Certificate on the wall. Clock on the wall over here. Flying ducks. All right. Now, we have the lightheadedness. Yes. Lightheadedness are arriving. And who do we need for this? Dr. Jason Popper is going to work in there. That's what he thinks. You know what? I'm going to hire this person to work in here. Yes, I want that person to work in there. Because they have good treatment skills. Alright. Now let's pause for a second. Because we are going to go ahead and move this room. No, not edit. There we go. Let's go ahead and move this room over here. A second plant then because we don't have as much room in the room so it's not as necessary there that's now over there where it should be put that there see about a few plants maybe We should be good. Now we have all the rooms in here that we needed. Health inspector now arriving at the hospital. All right, we got the health inspector coming in, but that's all right. We have our pants lab up and running. We just need one more person to be cured in the pants lab, and that should give us our one-star rating. And I see the person right here. One of our treatments failed. Oh, sad day. We unscrewed this person's head and then they died. Imagine that. Pull somebody's head off and they'll die. Alright, well they didn't become a ghost, which I guess is a good thing. Alright, awesome. We got our one-star rating. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded with a one-star rating by the two-point health ministry. Like lightning, you have made a mockery of your detractors by striking a second time. You are commended on your endeavors into the inner workings of machines and the human mind, respectively. Now focus on your budding two-headed empire, or add a third head by opening a new hospital and flattering. It is currently not much of an empire. Alright, we will look at that here soon enough see these things. Staff promotion, yes. Staff challenge, hey, we were able to complete it. That's good. I want to see if I can add anything to this room that will help this room. 
Doesn't look like I can. Alright, so we just gotta have that room the way it is. Let's go ahead and put another bench out here. That way more people can sit down. And the news today. Conditions at the Rotting Hill Hospital are getting worse every day. Apparently, patients are just as likely to die from sinkholes and crumbling ceilings as any diseases. At least that'll keep the queues down. All right, so we have our task for the two-star hospital, but let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here as far as the new map. A warm greeting to you all this fine morning, especially those of you in Fluttering, where renovations have been completed on the bridge that leads to the town's ancient castle. Officials say people crossing over will no longer need to wear parachutes and life jackets. Ah, it just won't be the same. Sounds like an interesting and dangerous place. All right, well, we will continue with Lower Bullocks before we move on to Flottering. We're going to get the three stars here as well. But that's where I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. I'm going to go ahead and claim my stuff in career, and that'll be it. So if you enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you have not already, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you. I hope to see you all again for another episode of Two Point Hospital.